right, so Saturday call. Got a makeup air unit here that's not working right. And it was locked out. Went through and looked at the burners. Had to go grab my controller. So we can check our air codes here in a second. Um, got power off for right now. Went down and grabbed a couple small drill bits. We've got uh, buildings getting a little warm. I mean, without that heat running, it's triggering out on low temp because it's not tempering the air. So our burner's there, goes all the way across to over there. I'm going to clean up the pilot on this thing a little bit. I know we've got some parts ordered for it, so I'm going to try to see if I can get it going. Everything else looks fairly okay. Belts and stuff are fairly tight. Got a little motor here, it's only 40 horse. Not bad. So, see if we can get in here and clean this up. Like I said, we do got the power off on this. Pilot is right there. You can see how some of those holes, like that one right there, kind of filled in. So they can get rusted up pretty easy. There's only a couple of them that look a little suspicious, but I mean, you see that one right there. But you know, it's probably not what's causing it, but we're gonna try that. You got a UV sensor here to, to verify it has a, uh, a pilot before it brings on this main valve here. So we're gonna see if we can get that cleaned up. Okay, so we started to back up. Pilot ignition, pilot fail. So number 28. Condition at the time of lockout, pilot ignition. So we never even got the ignition of the pilot done. All history. multiple issues. Let's go ahead and reset this thing. Let's get back out of here and go. We're in the purge. Let's get out of here and go back. There's the Megan ignition came on. There she's burning. You can hear her modulating. Cleaned a couple. One hole that was completely plugged, I didn't like. Really, the other ones were fairly okay. Alright, so we're going to go through this a little bit, but right now it's running. Alright, so we was going to replace the igniter, went to go pick that up. It wasn't the correct one. So we went ahead and cleaned out the first couple holes of the pilot assembly, or the main burner there. We're now holding a 5 volt signal with just the pilot only after I isolated the main burner. And uh, it should hopefully work until we get that uh, igniter that we uh, need to reorder. Cause like I said, it doesn't seem to be the right one. So it's gonna wrap this one up. Not a whole lot more I can do today. So hopefully it holds. Um, everything else seems to be checking out fine. So on to the next one. All right guys, this is the joys of being on call. So, Got a little early because there wasn't much going on, but they said the snow crap was going to come. This was not here when I went to sleep, but it's supposed to get like five to seven tonight, which never seems to happen that much. But so we're heading to a no heating call. Supposedly the uh, rooftop units kicking on and off, on and off. So we're gonna go take a look, see what's going on there. And uh, you guys will enjoy the ride. All right, this kind of sucks because you can't tell which one's what. And I can't really tell you where I'm at. 
so it's not like you can go down stairs and get into everything you want to get into so I heard this one kick on he says it comes on and, and then it just like shuts off and then comes back on it's, blowers at least running but he said he thought it was towards the front I'm wondering if it ain't that in there kind of doesn't look like it's ran at all and it's perfectly quiet <sighs> yeah nothing's labeled here so all the thermostats are in the duck work this one's perfectly quiet I'm pretty sure we got these things running the blowers all the time because they don't have thermostats down below they're literally hanging in the duct work so I'm gonna get this thing open obviously I don't have a tripod or anything right now I just want to bring you guys along for the ride so let's see if I can get this thing opened up here all right so fan should be on it doesn't feel hot spins and it ain't doing crap all right so not sure what this main gorded mess is but it's not good for the love of peter oh so anyhow um i was thinking maybe uh -oh. okay so the draft motor's coming on which Sure took a long time. Can't help but think that this has something to do with it being getting wet. Good grief. Let's see if it fires and we'll stop it because obviously the blower's not working. Alright. Let's go ahead and get that panel pulled. Alright, so we got some codes going on here, and this is not good. I don't know what in the world is up with all the snow getting into everything. I mean, the panels were on. They're good. Lord, I don't know why it's got to be all over the place. So I'm probably going to have to go grab my blower and blow this crap out. It hasn't tried to fire yet either. Things don't work well when they're wet. It's for sure not good. Alright, that little blower, man. That thing is badass. So, I think I got most of the crap out of my contactors, about as good as you're going to get it. God, there's still crap in there. <sighs> I'm hoping when that acted all stupid that it's just because one, one of the legs was uh, not making. That was why it jerked and did all that crazy crap that it was doing. So, yeah, I don't know how in the world it sucked it up in there because it really is fairly halfway sealed I don't I don't get it I have to blow it out some more in the snow don't help this blowing right freaking right back into it There's so much you can do here contactor kicked in and she's running but it sounds like that freaking bearings are going out that ain't good not good it could have single phase is what I'm wondering or the contactor just had so much crap in it it just couldn't pull in I'm gonna see if I can tighten that belt up a touch really isn't like crazy loose it really is not yeah it's it's not crazy loose all right let's get my drill back out of there and see if we can move this thermostat around yep let's go ahead and yeah it's just as less than desirable usually this is down in the uh down in the um, ductwork, but for some reason it's over here. 
Yeah, we'll just hope for the best, I guess. Yeah, definitely moving some volume. Why that's going so caught thick and fast, man? That's crazy. I'm gonna have to tighten that up. That's just way too loose. All right, so <clears throat> end up having to use my hand torch and my blower there and blow hot air basically onto this thing. There's snow all down in my controls here. It's still coming down. As you can see, the snow's just, I mean, all this just happened in the last couple of hours and it's supposed to get a lot worse. Um, at this point, if this don't work, we're just gonna have to get him a new board. And look, it's already got some flipping failure that's probably from the water on the board. I mean, there's only so much you can do. It's one of them things where you're fighting an uphill battle and the snow is getting driven right back into the board. Um, I'm not sure why that's not doing nothing. I wired that freaking uh, blower to run right off of R, which I, I don't care to have the thermostat controlling it because it's not really, I don't know, that just that bothers me. I don't know why that's not running unless there's, it kills it when it uh, gets the call, but that's what kind of freaking code we got here. Eight flips. So, internal control fault. So, I don't have one of those on the truck. I'm going to try to warm it up a little bit more. I mean, the water's just causing a fault. I mean, a little bit of water on one of these chips would cause it to flip out. I mean, it's just one of them things. I mean, uphill battle. As you clean it out, the snow's falling and it's coming right back into it. So, it's uh, not a good day in the neighborhood here. Anyhow, I'm gonna try a little bit more. It's such a waste of time if you can't get it going. So, it kind of sucks. All right, so, I got looking at this, and this was all bent to hell and back, so it was this over here where they probably popped the top off 60 times and probably didn't pull the screws out. So, bent that down, blew it out some more, got back behind the board as good as I could, and she failed about seven times, blew some air in there across the burners to get that flame sensor cleaned out. The way it was acting, it was like the flame sensor wasn't wanting to work. It, uh, it's running. I got the fan, like I said, wired straight to R. So there won't be any delay on that thermostat. Um, I'm gonna let it run for a while before I jet out of here. Cause uh, like I told them, I said, the rate we're going, a blower motor and a control board. I'm not gonna have all that, especially that blower motor. That one's a pretty good size one. I don't think I would do. You know, you're gonna drive all over trying to get it and you gotta get a supply house open and everything else. It's just, if there's another place they can put them at, cause I mean, you got RTU there, 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 and one back over there. And uh, basically, uh, you may just have to re-room people somewhere else. As long as we can keep that, that blower running, I think that was the biggest thing. A blower not running like it uh, wasn't is, uh, you know, going to cause some issues. Uh, then we come back, we can check filters and stuff. I'm not going to waste a lot of time with it tonight. What time are we at right now? Almost two o'clock. So, yeah, I got kind of lucky here on this one. A little bit of praying never hurts. Got her going. Um, guess we're just going to watch for a little bit. I think what happened with, the, with this ledge being built bent up like it was. It's just sucking it up. I'm gonna pound this down too. I pounded that down. That made a pretty good difference. But you can see it just sucking that crap up. And I think it's just pulling it right in there, especially with this wind coming, blasting the snow right into it. Just ain't a good idea. All right, guys. So we got that thing up and going. I'm gonna tell you now because I know somebody's gonna bitch that I've got the control board working. I've seen electronic boards do what it did. I'm recommending that we replace it. I had to get it going. I put on the paperwork we need to replace the motor and the control board both. Uh, then we can spend some time, go through it, make sure that the uh, filters are fine, everything else. But so 
same thing with the stat, you know, I would have liked to have seen it maybe not right there in the blower, but this, this is an extreme right now. Let's flip around here. It's, uh, it's definitely putting it down, but I appreciate you coming along for the ride. If you guys like the video, you know what to do. Don't forget 8.30 Eastern on Sunday evenings doing the live show. Also got Facebook page, uh, HVAC Survival. If you guys want to join it and you're not a, want to just sit there and run everybody down, love to have you in the group. Other than that, I'll put a link down in the description down below. And uh, that's going to wrap this one up. So, guys, have a good night. We'll catch you on the next one. Later.